Hi, I'm Renee Main and I am with Prosper for the online prosperity show and we are talking about all things hedonism and how we can inject and embody pleasure in our business to create money, to serve in a way that we love and create a business and life like it's one long orgasm. There are plenty of how-tos, so tune in. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today I've brought you the business mentor, Renee herself. Renee, how are you doing, my love? I am very well, thank you. Very well. Absolutely. Now, Renee is a hedonistic inspired business and leadership um, alchemist. And in other words, she is devoted to living, teaching and enjoying business and life um, as, as it all goes along as she says in one long orgasm she's also an avid writer lover of spoken word and a chronic oversharer so we're hoping to um, get as much information from her today as much as possible um renee thank yeah. you so much for being on the show today tell us a little <laughs> bit about your business and what exactly is involved yeah, so um, I've been in business for, I've been owning and managed businesses for 23 years. Um, and over the past 12 years, having my own business, it was, I've, you know, I really realized quite quickly that business is not always sustainable if it's not built around your life. And it has to bring you pleasure. Because, you know, sometimes when you start out, the passion, you feel like it's unwavering. But, you know, you, the years go, go on and, you know, and darkness and the ebbs and flows happen. So really, I found that you can make money and still not really enjoy your business. Or you can love your business and not necessarily make money. So for me, realizing that we can use like natural elements that we were given at birth, like self, spirit, sex, and service to create an amazing business. So, and one that feels good for you. So for me, it's about teaching others to, you know, activate and harness their own unique gifts rather than this copy and paste business model that we're seeing all over the place. Oh, I've just lost your sound. Now, a lot of people, a lot of people, if they knew that they had all these powers, they would definitely um, utilize them. What, what is it then that stops people from actually realizing all these unique abilities that they might have? I think when people first start business, like, you know, you go out and you realize, yes, I'm going to do all the business things. So they set up their business model, their target markets, their everything else. Uh, they forget about themselves. So they put masks on in their business. They feel like they have to be somebody else. And so quick and, but especially now in today's market is so then they go to business coaches and, or they'll go to experts and gurus and who give them a one size fits all do this in business do this business model here is your sales funnel here is your profit model oh you know pay me and i will tell you exactly how to be just like me you know but it doesn't work it's like wearing someone else's shoes right absolutely so what you're talking about really plays around creating your own unique personal brand that yes. suits you well and you did mention there's the self there's the service there's the sex and then there's also the spirit that mm. gets involved when somebody is starting off a business i thought all you needed was a product no, no, you know, and I've had multiple different businesses and multiple different industries, but unless we know who we are in business, then we can't be transparent. We can't resonate. We can't connect with our audience. So, you know, sometimes you think that in business, you have to sit on the fence, 
But, you know, I was having this conversation with someone the other day, but the more you take a stand and you put out your little tentacles about this is who I am as a parent, as a person, as a partner, as a friend, we get to connect in a way that is more authentic and genuine, which I think what the market and people are really craving right now. Absolutely. Well, right about now, we are faced um, with a lot of automation within our businesses. We're faced with a lot of tools and um, the advent of, um, you know, apps or robots that can help us connect with our audiences. How much of that is actually deterring us, like you say, uh, bringing out our true authentic selves? You know what? Like I started online 12 years ago and it was all about connection and I started with automation um, straight off the bat I went to online programs and e-products and everything else and you know Prosper what I really realized was you can do all of that you can do all of that but in that it doesn't leave you fulfilled there's no fulfillment because they have, and yes, automation plays a part and I'm very much, you know, an advocate of what you can do in that space, but without heart and meaning behind that automation and the intention of that flow, it's empty. Absolutely. Well, that, that is very uh, profound that you've brought that up. Now your business is all about um, really in, in immersing yourself in the business and fully enjoying, um, yeah. you know, that business. A lot of people would have started a business, say, a couple of years ago. And yeah. right now, that whole momentum has sort of gone down because it's now realistic that they actually either have to pick up the phone and call their clients or connect with them. Yeah. Um, how do you help people maintain that as they go through? And what sort of, you know, advice would you give to people that are sort of now hitting that low point mm. that, you know, they still got it in within themselves? It's, you know, I think sometimes we have to dig deep you know, and we have to, for me, it's really about teaching my clients to connect to themselves. And with that is we feel like we need to be everywhere all at once. And with that, we don't do any of it really well. So I would go, keep it simple, stupid, connect in a way on a platform that feels good for you using your gifts using things that you actually enjoy because as soon as it's fun as soon as you're playing it's it's not it's not so hard work is not hard yes you can work hard but you don't have to feel like you're struggling all the time so for me that's why i teach my clients is when you tap into the pleasure of your business and yourself you can really everything comes alive, you know? So everything all of a sudden just feels good. And what happens when you feel good is you get creative. And when you get creative, you follow the sparks of curiosity. And when you follow the sparks of curiosity, they are clear, simple steps that you're given. You tap into that infinite wisdom inside of yourself and it'll go, be here on this day. Write this piece of writing, say this, and you may not know why you're saying it or who you're saying it to, but there is a level of trust that synchronicity will always happen when you listen and act on that infinite intelligence. Absolutely. All um, wisdom with no action really amounts to nothing. But yeah. then also, I mean, having a quick look and drawing the curtain a little bit uh, mm. back in Australia, which mm. is, you know, most of the audience uh, of which we're, you know, um, uh, talking to at this particular juncture. Yeah. And there is what is called, um, you know, tall poppy syndrome. And then pretty much that then culminates in a lot of fear. And as much as a lot of people would not really want to expose who they really are mm. and it, with the fear of, you know, neglecting 
that which they have known all their lives. Now, how do you address that particular, um, you know, ingrown sort of fear that people might have, and it's actually crippling a lot of businesses in Australia without them realizing? Absolutely. And there's so much fear. Um, but you know what? In every single choice, in every single moment of every single day, we have a choice. We can choose love or we can choose fear. Now, we can sit on that fence and try and keep everybody happy. But you know what happens? We end up connecting with nobody. So pick a side, stand in your truth, share your truth. One of the universal laws is the law of truth. And that states that you cannot control what people hear. So you have to speak your truth because otherwise it's just white noise because it's not actually up. It's not, it's out of our control. So, and we end up eliminating or alleviating the people that genuinely do want to care and connect and they're on our radar by not speaking our truth. They cannot find us. They cannot come into our awareness or into our space. The tall poppy syndrome, you know what? I have, I think that you're right. It does cripple a lot of people, but you know what? I'm going to put something out there and go, it is only a reflection about the fear we're feeling within. You know, whenever I've looked inside and gone, oh my goodness, like, you know, whether it's about money, whether it's about religion, whether it's about culture, whether it's about business, whatever it is, it's, can I be myself? Who am I to be able to do this? They're questions that we're having inside of ourselves. Most people want us to succeed. People don't want us to fail, you know? So everybody wants us to succeed. So the more we step into that, and you don't need to go running down naked in your street, feeling exposed, but what you can do is just piece by piece, start to unravel your truth, what it looks like in that day, you know, for you. So, because it's an everyday process, right? Absolutely. So in not so long from now, you're going to be hosting an um, adulterated pillow talk with, you know, global thought leaders mm. who are actually kicking butt and disrupting the status quo of life and business. Tell us a little bit about the hedonistic way online summit that you're going to be hosting in a couple of weeks. So what I did, it launches next Monday and I'm so excited by it because you know what, there is this movement happening at the moment where people are creating really sexy, savvy, strategic, smart business models from a place that feels good. You know, in the online space and in businesses, everyone is doing the exact same thing, right? And it's becoming really beige and really boring. And, you know, our BS radars are going up all over the place. But we've got an army of people that are disrupting the status quo. So I wanted to get those guys together. And I thought, what if we can have a conversation where we ask the questions that no one asks? So I've got a, I've hand-selected really specific people that are living a life of stereo untypical success. They're doing things really differently. And the questions that I, they get asked, they get interviewed all the time, but every single person said at least once, no one's ever asked me that. No, that's a really good question. I need to think about that. So the whole idea of it was is to have unadulterated pillow talk because I'm like, pillow talk is this intimate, open conversation where you disclose, you know, you disclose information that you wouldn't always share. So in that, these amazing people, oh, they shared the most profound, beautiful pieces of wisdom and insights that I've ever heard. You know, it's not just, 
I live this great life, we discuss the darkness, how you get through the darkness. You know, the things that people go, when you don't feel like showing up, when you, you don't know where the money's coming from, when you're overwhelmed, how do you get through that moment? You know, how did you create a business doing things differently? You know, so we, we really spoke about the things that people really want to know, but people don't really talk about. So there's 10 people that are a part of it and it's being rolled out over five days. It's completely free. Um, but honestly, it's like nothing I've ever heard. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for bringing that out. I mean, it is typical of you being an oversharer, right? So <laughs> <laughs> you would just bring um, stuff out that people hardly ever talk about. Now, how can people get a hold um, off either this summit or off you so that they can also really get to learn a little bit about what it is that you do and how they can actually start mm -hmm. living really, really sexy business lives. Mm, absolutely. So my website is reneemain.com.au. Um, you'll find the landing page has a direct link to the summit and I'm on all the social media platforms. So feel free to connect with me everywhere connection is everything right so if we're not connecting then you know we're not living so yeah happy to connect absolutely now renee you would also notice that maybe we are only just starting the third month of 2018 so that means if people had written their new year's resolutions on a wall using mm -hmm. red paint it's only just drying out now what sort of um, advice can you give to people right now that are maybe going through that slump that we talked about earlier on, that they're going through the fears that we mentioned um, that you can alleviate or also just really not sure how else to tackle this whole business um, you know, um, environment so that they can be doing and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable? What would be the most enjoyable creative thing that I can do today how can I every every morning you know what I do is I prime myself like nothing changes if nothing changes right so prime your mornings because that is this fluid beautiful time where we get to create our day and that goal that you might have set in the new year attach a feeling to it because if you're not in a feeling state it cannot manifest right so and you know what one oh gosh we had this beautiful discussion in one of the interviews for the summit and alkinson she spoke about manifesting from memory or manifesting from imagination and they're two completely different things so realizing that, okay, am I manifesting from the past, from memory, or am I creating being a visionary and pulling it in from the future? So they're two really different spaces. One, you, you know, the memory is, it's very limited and it becomes, and as you said before, is they can be from blocks that sometimes we don't even know that we have. So it's about understanding that. So that was a really beautiful conversation that we spoke about from there, but definitely attaching it to a feeling state and introducing play and pleasure and changing up the environment, your, like your own environment is to, and connect, connect within, you know, and I would just say, keep it really simple keep it really simple and create really clear action around that. Absolutely. That is so much profound stuff, especially the whole create from um, the imagination aspect yeah. there, because a lot of people just wouldn't fathom how things can get any better because they're basing it on what was and from what was you would never get um, any, any, any momentum from right. it. So That's definitely. Right. And, you know, sorry. And in that as well is that, um, when we sometimes, so if we're talking, say the universe, when you're feeling it and you say, for example, I want, I want to attract a, you know, a 
five figure client, whatever it is, right? A five figure client, but you are so far away from that. Your body knows when you believe something and when you don't believe it. So these goals can be empty words. So you might actually say, instead of saying, I want a five figure client, you would say, I wish I had a five figure client. And then start to see abundant everywhere because that might be something that you believe. So in your body, your body automatically is like it's resonance, map, resonance mapping in your body, right? So your body will say a yes and it will say a no. If you don't believe that you can actually attract a five-figure client, your body is pulsating at a no, even though the words, because you're not aligned with the words that are, the, the words that you're saying. So you need to align yourself and believe the words that are actually coming out of your mouth. That is really, really important. Absolutely. Absolutely. And if you're watching this right now, you can actually see that Renee is a natural leader and has a huge heart and a soul that actually really lights up the room. Um, as you can see, she's provided us with great ideas and they're very straightforward approach in as much as if you're not putting in action, uh, nothing will actually work. And she definitely is coming from a space of warmth and love. Mm -hmm. Now I would really encourage that. Um, if you can jump onto our website, I'll be putting all the details right in the comments below or in the show notes and then you can actually see how Renee is passionate about helping people with her energy and um, you know her inspiring and intelligent um, methods so that you too can be do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable now Renee I can't thank you enough for the time that we've spent today um, you know on the show and you giving us your value and your expertise on this subject in question thank you so much Thanks, Prosper. It was my pleasure. Thank you. Absolutely.